not been able to declare it, uh, then it means that this has to be moved to the National Tiling Center. I'm not sure we have seen such a thing in previous elections. Naam, Sidani, uh, Sidani, kwa sababu nafikiri inaonesha wazi kwamba labda kwa sababu za kiusalama, labda oja kwanza ndo mebidi iletu katika makao makuu, pili pia vile labda pengine wale ambao wanasimamia kule ili swala kidogo limewatoka mikononi. Baba sababu pengine mwenyewe mwenye kiti yamesema kwa kile ambacho nimekipata kwa kukisikia ama kukiona naomba kwamba muniachie hii ishu ya kaunti ya Narok ni shughulikie mimi mwenyewe. Nafikiri ni swala ambalo eh, lazima tupate ufafanuzi kwa sababu huwezi jua ni usalama ama ni kwa sababu labda ya utepetevu ambao umeweza kuonekana katika La, wanaosimamia. Lakini sana wanasema kwa ajili ya kius masala ya kiusalama ni posa wamependa uh, Tulling Center ya Misho kutoka Masai Mara University ifanyu hapa Bomas. Itakumbuka kwamba county commissioner hapo awali uh, bwana Isaac Masinde aliweza kuita IEBC akisema kwamba waje waweze kutatua lile swala katika county hiyo ya Naro akisema kwamba kwa hivi sasa hadipo mikono ni mwake. Manake hmm. things were getting out of hand mm -hmm. kwa Kiingereza. Kwa kama Ibra tutaweza kupata Lakini pia labda lula, kwa hiyo tutazungumza kwa sababu kama mimi naamini kwa maswala usalama na account commissioner alikuwa pale akijaribu kuzungumza na msimamizi mkuu kile kituo cha, cha kujumlisha kura uh, uh, inawezekana kwamba wangeshindwa kuweza kuimarisha usalama paka katangazwa mshindi paka iletwe katika hakuna eh yani hakuna usalama yani, naro usalama wanaweza kutupa usalama unapatikana Nairobi tu kwa, kwa matokeo bali na usalama <laughs> pia alisema kidogo kunaonekana kuna hitilafu mm -hmm. ambapo amesema IEBC waweze kulishughulikia sijui kama Ibra tutaweza kumpata county commissioner wa Naro aha tumeambiwa tusubiri kidogo okay, ni, sijui wacha ngozi wasemaje kwa sababu nina, 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 na pia kuondoa na kuleta katika kituo cha kujumlisha kura cha kitaifa pale Bomas je yeah, ile hofu kule umeiongeza ama umeipunguza kwa sababu walio kule Naro kwa sasa hivi wakiambua kwamba wasubiri ngome inaletwa Nairobi umewaambia hey, matokeo ya tatangazo Nairobi na nyinyi mmepigia kura Naro. Eh. Ezra Professor Mugambi na oh. Dr. Likaka na. nafikiri si si vibaya lakini sheria wajua inakubali mm -hmm. eh, babu kuhusiana na mambo hayo kwamba ikiwa kuna sababu ambazo zinafanya uh, mchakato huo usifanyike kule Uh, hasa baada ya uchaguzi basi taarifa itatolewa na nafikiri taarifa ndio ambayo uh, alikuwa akisoma kuhusiana ni kwa sababu gani uh, swala hili lihamishiwe kwingine na wameona vizuri nafikiri wakiwasiliana na uh, afisi kuu ya ya, 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 ya ya IBC kwamba wapeleke shughuli hiyo huko ili waweze kufanya kushughulikia zile changamoto ambazo wameziona kuhusiana na talin kwa sababu lazima waweze ku, ku, kujumlisha vizuri ili waweze kutangaza. Kwa hiyo hali nafikiri mimi najua kwamba katika Naro kulikuwa na ushindani mkali sana babu. Mm -hmm. Mkali sana hasa kuhusiana na kile kiti cha uh, ugavana. Mm -hmm. Na kwa sababu gavana aliyekuepo uh, gavana Tunai ameondoka yeye mwenyewe akingangania useneta useneta mwenyewe umemponyoka manake ameshindwa. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kulikuwa na ushindani mkali sana katika eneo hilo. Na nafikiri uh, kulikuwa na kwa siku mbili ambazo zimepita kumekuwa na sintofahamu watu wana wasiwasi kama ambavyo watu wako Kenya nzima. Lakini nafikiri di, eh, mwenyewe ameona kwamba yule ambaye anahusika kwamba ikiendelea kwamba mambo haya yatafanyika hapa kwanza itachukua muda mrefu pili wale wanaohusika kama ambavyo ilivyo bomas watajaa katika ukumbi ule na kufanya kazi yao ya kufanya ujumlishaji kuwa ngumu. Kwa hiyo wakaona kwamba afadhali na nafikiri waliwasiliana na afisi kuu afadhali walete Nairobi. Walete Nairobi. Dr. 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 Likaka, wadhani hakukuwa na usalama wa kutosha Narok. Na tunavyojua tuna ni kwamba katika kila kituo cha upigaji kura kuna askari wa kutosha, maofisa wa kutosha wa kuweza kusimamia shughuli nzima mpaka ikamilike ndio tulete tu matokeo ya mwisho huku IBC. Dr. Likaka. E, nitaweza kujibu kwa kusema masuala mawili. Jambo moja ni kwamba usalama unaweza kosekana kwa sababu idadi ya maafisa wa polisi wako pale hawataweza kuadhibiti wale wafuasi wa pande zote mbili. Mm -hmm. Pili kwa sababu ya mikakati iliyopo kupitia kwenye IBC ikiwa wewe umeshindwa na swala kama hilo pale chini uko na njia ya kuwasiliana na mkubwa wako na ndio hivyo ni vizuri kwa nini mara nyingi hata wakati tunashika unaweza pata kwamba mwanasiasa ameshikwa mahali fulani kwa sababu ya ule ufuasi ama pingamizi kutoka wale wafuasi wake mara nyingi utapata ataondolewa pale apeleke kwingine ndio kuwe na utulivu 
ambapo wa, 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 wanaiji wanaora kwa watafuraia, lakini itasaidia kwa sababu nafasi iliopo sasa kwenye the bombers of Kenya, wataweza kufanya ile scrutiny na uweze kusikiza wale mawakala wote na wakisha kubaliana ndio hivyo basi mwenye kita ataweza tangaza ni yupi aliyashinda. Mm -hmm. Tatizo lililopo hapo ni kwamba wale wa, wa kazi wa Narok wa, kwa sasa watasema kwamba huende shughuli hiyo imehamishiwa Nairobi kwa sababu kulingana na pande zote mbili kuna njama ya kujaribu kuwalagai mm. ama kulagai mshindi mm. kutegemea uko upande gani. Kila mtu ataona kwamba kuondoa hapa kuna njama ya kujaribu ku kutuibia kura eh manake ni, 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 ni masafa marefu, marefu toka naro kumpaka Nairobi hata kama utatumia ndege ya helikopter kwa sababu huta huna uhakika kitu gani kinaweza fanyika ndio gharama ya kuamini na nadhani na, 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 na wa Kenya tumezoea kwamba hatuaminiani yeah, ndio maana unaona hata kuna baadhi ya wanasiasa wamekwenda wakajazana bomas of Kenya ni mm. kama kwamba wao ndio wanahesabu kura na si kazi yao ile tu kwamba mimi siamini huyu mwingine na huyu jamaa pia simuamini basi ni lakini hata ukiangalia na macho kuna, kuna kitu kinaitwa kiini macho weza <laughs> <laughs> mambo yakakupita na wewe unatoa macho yako hapa lakini mambo yakakupita tazamaji <laughs> nam there's a letter that has come in uh, <laughs> basi kabla tu, tuzungumze masuala ya kiini macho uh, twende tupate kauli uh, nafikiri uh, sam alafu ichukulie kauli ya Isaac Masinde county commissioner wa Narok tujue kabisa ni kwa nini aliingilia kati nini kilichojiri tusikie kauli yake alafu baadaye mm -hmm. Samgi tu kwa atachukulia hapo na kuendelea candidates waambie vijana wala ambao wamemobilize to get out of town waondoke warudi nyumbani waendelee na kazi as we wait for IPC to come up with a better solution that will satisfy the two candidates na pia yenye itasaidia wananchi wa Narok ili waweze kupata kava na ambaye amepita vizuri sio yule ambaye amepita kwa njia ya mkato Mhm mm that's the county commissioner from Narok County of course uh, uh, calling for the young people that are still within that area to leave if they don't live there so as to allow the ABC to conclude their process but of course after that there has been that letter that has come from the returning officer saying that uh, the uh, operations of the of the tallying center of Narok have been moved to the national tallying center the bombers of Kenya where the announcement should be made of who becomes the next governor of Narok County but there's a letter here coming from one of the candidates that is Moita Lelo Lekenta who complains uh, that um, the decision has been unilateral he says that uh, he has received an undated public notice that uh, was sent to him uh, via WhatsApp on his phone at around 2.18 p.m., that is this afternoon, indicating that uh, the Narok County Tiling Center has been moved to the National Tiling Center at the Bombers of Kenya. He says that he is horrified by this unexpected, irregular, and definitely illegal deployment, and says that uh, by this letter, he protests and rejects the move and advises the returning officer to follow the law. He says that according to the law, uh, the Tiling Center remains in Narok until that is degazetted. Also says that he wants the announcement made after tallying uh, the outcome of the governorship seat uh, from the Kilgore's constituency it says that uh, the Kil Kilgore's constituency results can only be announced from the Kilgore's constituency tallying center that is from the county I mean sub county headquarters and so it becomes um, quite a complicated issue, Rashid and Lulu, because now you don't know what to believe, where to head, but clearly you can see there's that contestation. I don't know, what options do these candidates have? Because the key candidates is Moitalelo Lekenta from ODM side and then Patrick Ntutu from yes. UDA. Mm -hmm. What options do they have if indeed the environment is so unbearable for the returning officer from IBC to execute uh, their, their duty in this process? Uh, for me, I think the, the, the most important thing to do would have been, first of all, to follow the law. I mean, there is, it is very clear on what should be done, uh, because as that letter says, it's true, because these uh, centers are all, even the polling stations are all, you know, uh, according to the law, they have been gazetted. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the movement of a telling center from uh, one county, perhaps within the county it will be different, but one county to another county, as well, you know, say, you know, Narok all the way to Nairobi, mm -hmm. is a bit controversial. And again, without that um, uh, consultation, because again, it is important to consult the, 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 the contestants so that you are able to 
actually agree that because of the prevailing circumstances or issues which uh, the returning officer has, then uh, we, we are all agree that we can move it to whichever place. But without consulting the, 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 the contestants and the, the candidates, I think it becomes a bit difficult. And again, if it were against the law, mm -hmm. that would be difficult because it can be again contested uh, uh, in court. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, pia, uh, kama tuzunguza Sam, kuna swala alezungumza mgombea na sema kwamba uh, ni kama tari mevunja sheria kwanza, metu wasine na sisi kupitia mitandao ya kijamii. Yeah. Kwamba kuna mtu lichukua na fasi ya kutuwaita kama wagombea, kuna tatizo la kwanza. Kwamba meipata tarifa hii kupitia mitandao ya kijamii kwa WhatsApp yake pili, anasema eno bunge la Kilgore kufikia sasa. Bado matokeo yake haya tangazwa na hesabiwa na inakuwa ni vyema yatangaziwe pale pale katika eneo bunge la Kilgore baada ya kuna mfiri ishatoa mwanya wa kwamba kama alikuwa anazungumza babu ile hofu iliyopo itazidi na sasa hivi tayari mvutano utaongezeka zaidi licha ya kwamba taarifa ya kwamba shughuli imetoa Nairobi imetolewa uh, but then we also need to recognize the, that security of the officers or the IBC officers has to be guaranteed and in this case it's a scenario where the two parties cannot agree and even you've seen where the intervention of the county commissioner is not working. Mm -hmm. So even if it is against the law in terms of gazettement, where they are still coming to actually resolve it, it is also a gazetted venue. So, and it's actually going to the chair to be able to intervene. What will be the most appropriate scenario where you find that actually the two parties are too strong for each other and you kind of a weakling and you're supposed to be the umpire? You cannot be able to arbitrate. So the scenario that we are finding ourselves in is because there's a bit of mistrust among the agents. If you announce the, whoever is the winner on the basis of what the other person is pushing, you are likely going to hurt the other. That's why I think he made the decision that indeed, let us relocate for purposes of safety and to merge the whole situation. But where the, if the law has been broken, then there's another issue that has to be addressed. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also important to add, uh, Swale, that uh, so far, Kilgore's have just confirmed from our reporter on the ground, that is uh, Ben Kirui, uh, that uh, the results from the Kilgore's constituency for the gov uh, governorship seat are yet to come in. But uh, from the other constituencies, uh, Patrick, Patrick Ntutu had 135,650 votes. Moitalel Olekenta was following with 113,500 votes. So Kilgore's constituency could be what will determine where this seat goes. But unfortunately, so far, there has been no total that has been announced uh, from the Kilgore's constituency returning, um, uh, I mean, telling centre by the returning officer in that area. Sole. Na mnadhani ni swala ambalo li dahitaji atanafukiri wa changanuzi wetu wapa professor na Dr. Rikaka wame hawa kulijibu vile ambavo labda mtazamaji nyumbani angetaka kupata maelezo zaidi mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu nadhani ni swala tuweze tukalijadili hapa studioni na kulimaliza labda tuachie uh, wanasema mambo ya ngoso wewe muachie ngoso mwenyewe tuachie IBC na uh, watu wa uh, Narok <laughs> aso aso yule anaitwaje uh, county commissioner Eh ndo anajua sababu labda za muhimu kwa sababu mimi nitarudia tutakwenda tukizunguka pale pale kwamba nadhani katika kila kituo cha upigaji kura kuna askari wa kutosha mm -hmm. na maofisa wa kutosha wa kusimamia shughuli hizo mbona kuna sehemu nyingine ambazo wanafikiri hatari zaidi Ma, matokeo yamehesabiwa yakatolewa ya, ya, ya pale pale ije kuaje narok mshindwe kuhesabu hadi mje eh, bomas of kenya lakini hilo ni swala ambalo nimesema hatuwezi tukalijadili hapa studioni na kulimaliza ila tuachie tu uh, maofisa wa IBC pamoja na uh, county commissioner wa narok ambaye ndio wamechukua uamuzi huo Mm -hmm. There's something else that I just received again from our reporter. Kilgore is he's of working, yeah. Again, I'm muhimu manake ni muhimu ili manake wajua wanatizama. Kwa ni kuri pia na poko tunoliza maswali na na jarebu kueleza. Kino bo ina saidi ya kutuliza ile. So he tells me that uh, Kilgore has uh, registered voter population of 67,000. Uh, 079 that is 67079 mm -hmm. and of course the difference between 
Muitalel Olekenta and Patrick Ntutu is about 22,150. So uh, even though I'm not clear on how many came out to vote, this is a figure that could actually uh, change. change the yeah. scales of this in whatever uh, form. Uh, but also looking at uh, the results for the senatorial seat, you had Honorable, uh, or rather Senator Ledamo Olekina returning his seat with 135,188 votes. Uh, Governor Samuel Tunai, who wanted to be senator, uh, followed with 117,672 uh, um, uh, votes in total. So uh, those are just specific for the Senate race, for the governor's race, there's no total that includes Kilgore's constituents and that, that's what makes it more mm -hmm. complicated. In, in, in na tarifa, kisema kwamba kura za Nairobi, kuna maini mfulani kidogo yuko haja esabiwa, lakini aro alisema ataangalia idadi ya kura ambazo zitakuwa na angalia difference. Kama itakuwa ina make any difference. Lakini hapa ikiwa ni elfu stili na saba, basi nadhani pia wanahaki ya kuingoja, kuweza kuisabiwa, niposa wapate kumfahamu governor. Na, na takuimu ambazo meza kutolewa na namba ambayo metolewa na Sam Gituku. Tukizundu tunawa changanu, zedicha kwamba uh, swali ya sama tapata jibu. Lakini swali ni kwamba, ikiwa nambari hiyo, inaeza badilisha matokeo mfano, kupande wote katika enobunge la Kiligoris. Na ikiwa uh, matokeo ya Kiligoris, enobunge, Hayata tangazwa katika eneo bunge la Kilgoris lakini labda atatangaziwa na Nairobi eh? eh kwa wale ambao wanatizama waniaji uh, bwana profesa no. hali kuna kesi ya kwenda mahakamani eh, kwanza kabisa ukiangalia uh, takwimu za idadi ya kura ambazo seneta alipata ni 135000 mm. mm -hmm. ukiangalia idadi ya kura ambazo tayari mwaniaji wa ugavana wa UDA alikuwa nazo ni elfu miyamoja thalathina tano. Sasa u, u, utaona kwamba hapo kuna usawa au kuna kufanana kwa namna fulani. Sasa zile kura kutoka eneo la Kilgoris kwa kika ndizo ambazo zitaleta tafauti. Kwa sababu uh, yule ambaye alikuwa wapili katika useneta pia alipata kura elfu miyamoja na kumina tatu. Kwa hiyo kuna kufanana kwa namna fulani kumina saba, mm -hmm. tafauti kidogo sana. Kwa hivyo unaona kuna kufanana kwa namna fulani kwamba huenda hiyo idadi ya jumla ya kura kule naro ndiyo ambayo itafikiwa. Lakini ukiona tafauti iliyopo eh, kati ya eh, kura ambazo zimesalia, ambazo ni kura eh, zipatazo elfu stina saba. Mm -hmm. Tukichukulia kwamba wale ambao wamepiga kura ni nusu, ni ham, eh, nusu utapata kura elfu thalathina mbili. Mm -hmm. Ukimuongezea, na hii ni kupiga isabu tu. Mm. Ukimuongezea elfu thalathina mbili, huyu ambaye amepata kura elfu miyamoja na kumina tatu kwa sasa. Mm -hmm. uh, ambaye ni mwaniaji wa... Uh, wa ODM. Utapata kwamba ata, atazidi, atafika karibu kura elfu miyamoja hamsini. Mm -hmm. Ukimuongezea huyo mungine atakuenda elfu miyamoja sabini. Mm -hmm. uh, huyu wa upande wa... Kwa ni ene bunge muhimu, e, kura zake ni muhimu. E, sasa unaona, hiyo tafauti ni kubwa sana. Kwa hiyo, kama mbave lula livuko na uliza, mm -hmm. ni kweli kwamba kitakacho tafautisha awawaniaji hawa wawili ni kura kutoka eneo la Kilgoris. Yes. Pili, nikimjibu uh, babu, wale wa eneo la Kilgoris, hawana tatizo. Hatujambewa kwamba kuna ukosefu wa usalama, mm -hmm. kuna tatizo lolote. Mbona kura zao, zikatangaziwe Kilgoris pale, pale. sasa zinatangaziwa Nairobi, Nairobi. Mm. sasa ni, ni swali la kuuliza banake mbona mbona wao pia wana wanaletwa wana Nairobi na wao hawaja hawana tatizo lolote lakini kwa sababu za picha za, za awali kidogo kumenza, kumekuwa na rabsha rabsha hali ya mshike mshike eh, nadhani ni kitu ambacho pia wao wanataka kukizuia mm. eh, lakini uh, huwezi kuzuia kitu ambacho kwanza hakipo na eh, pili uh, wawaniaji wenyewe hawajakaa chini wakakubaliana kwa kweli hali ni tete tupeleke sehemu hii nyingine tatu hawajaitisha na babu amesema hilo hawajaitisha usalama kwamba eh, county commissioner tunaomba usalama zaidi utuongezee maofisa utuongeze usalama, maofisa usalama hmm. zaidi kwa sababu ya yale ambayo tunataka kufanya nayo ni kufuata sheria kwamba lazima tuweze kusawazisha hapa kura na tuweze kutanga kutangaza. Kwa hiyo inakuwa kidogo kuna matatizo na utaona kwamba hii ndio itaongoza idadi ya uh, kesi ambazo zitakuwa mahakamani kwa sababu ya ukiukaji wa sheria 
za za, za kupiga. Na kabla tuweze kutoa maoni zaidi na mtani ruhusu tunaweza kuwa kueleza kilichojiri mapema kwamba kati ya wale wagombeaji wanne uh, wa kiti cha urais kuna mmoja mapema alita kikao na wanahabari na mzungumzia mgoniaji kiti cha urais kwa tiketi ya agano David Mwaure Waiga ambaye alikubali uh, matokeo jinsi yalivyo kwamba kwake hakuna nguvu kura ni chache kutusikia alichokizungumza. Dear Kenyans we wish to concede defeat in the presidential elections in the Republic of Kenya of the year 2020-2022, whose verification is ongoing at BOMAS. This we are doing after seeing what our performance has been and after deep discussions with our teams in BOMAS and consulting widely. Na tumeamwisho ni tumeambia wa Kenya muendelee kuweka amani. Sisi tumesema kama yule mwingine alisema lake na kama vile wanasema. Pande zote zinasema hivi na vile. Lakini uamuzi ule ambao ni wa kweli na haki ni yule utatoka kwa IBC. Tumeuliza IBC iwe na nguvu iseme sheria iko nyuma yake. Na sisi wa Kenya tukaomba ya kwamba mbarikiwe na Mungu ataendelea kuwa mpoja na sisi muspigane muweke amani kuna inchi kuna inchi yetu kuna tumaini baada ya hii na ma, kama tumeweza kumsikia uh, David Waihiga Mwaure ameweza kuzungumza kuhusiana na hali ilivyo kwa hivi sasa na anachukulia vipi hadi kwa sasa uh, shughuli hii ya uchaguzi akisema kwamba hali ni tulivu na pia vile vile kidogo ameweza kusalimu amri amesalimu amri na, na. nafikiri kutukija kwenye swala la kusalimu amri <laughs> tuanze na dr likaka uh, mwaka huu hatujaona malalamishi mengi sana kama ilivyokuwa kwenye uchaguzi ule wa mwaka 2017 kwamba mtu akitangazwa tu kwenye kituo cha kupigia kura mtu kesho yake ameshakimbia kokotini mwaka huu naona kila wale walioshindwa wengi wao wameshasema kwamba sawa nimekubali wamesalimu amri unadhani huku ni kukomaa kwa kisiasa ama ni ile kusema tu potele ya mbali kakaangu uone kwamba vile tumepiga kura na vile tumeliandaa kuna uwazi kiasi fulani na uwazi ambao umejitokeza mule mashinani ni vigumu sana wewe kuweza kujitokeza useme kwamba ulitendewa vibaya na imekuwa rahisi kwa wao kujitokeza kuweza kukubali kwamba umeshindwa. Lakini baada ya chache ambazo zinatokea na uchunguzi ukifanya pengine kutakuwa na malalamisha hapa na pale na wao wako na njia nzuri ambayo wataweza kutumia kwenda kwenye mahakama. Ambapo tumefikia hapa kwa sababu mikakati iliyopo sasa. Tumeweza kuandaliwa mtandao unaingia mle ndani wewe unapakua utafanya hesabu zako na basi tutamwacha chepukati aweze kuhakiki na kuweza kutangaza. Imekuwa rahisi kwa watu kuona kwamba ndio mwaniaji ameshindwa na atakubali. Nikiangazia lile la wahike maure e, kwangu ninaona kwamba too little too late. Kwa sababu angekuwa kwamba anamshabikia naibu wa rais vile ameeleza leo na vile amekubali, pengine hapa awali angejiondoa kabla hadijaingia kwenye e, mchakato mzima wa kupiga kura. Lakini haki yake ndio ameona jinsi anavyo perform na akaona aweze kutangaza na kukubali. Lila ambalo pengine nitaangalia kutoka kwa njia tofauti ni kwamba ninamtazama yeye kama pengine alikuwa kigogo wa naibu wa rais ama yeye kwa sababu ni mtu wa kanisa ama mtu mcha Mungu Said na huenda atagemea upande ule mwingine ama pengine ni nafasi yake kwa sasa kuanza kutafuta kazi ambapo amejaribu kupeana maswala ambaye si muhimu kwa sasa angekubali tu na atoshee pale mimi kwangu ni mm, bila kusema anaunga mkono nani wote. ama upande wowote kwa sababu pia muda umeshakwenda lakini labda pingine kura... labda pingine kusaidia tu lakini kimtazamo wake ni kwamba sawa nilikuwa kinyang'anyironi nimeona kwamba matokeo yanavyoendelea kura zangu ziko chache mno kwamba sina ushindani katika mtu wa kwanza ama wa pili lakini mimi kwa haki zangu katika wale wawili waliopo labda mimi na na enzi sera na, na, na falsafa za uongozi za huyu wale hapa na pia haki yake ya kidemokrasia na uhuru licha kwamba ni mwaniaji wa rais lakini maana nilipo nimekubali matokeo lakini pia maoni yangu katika kinachoendelea huyu ndio chaguo langu mbona 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 ije sasa mbona ije sasa mbona sasa naam na huoni kwamba kama anavyosema dr likaka imekuja imechelewa imechelewa 
Mbona sasa? Mbona hatueleza hapa awali kwa sababu ingesaidia yule ambaye anamshabikia. Mbona aje amshabikie baada? Na tena naona kama pengine ameenda mbele zaidi kwa sababu ni kama anatutangazia kwamba huyu ndio yule ambaye tunaona kwamba pengine atashinda. Labda angesema semi zake wa Kenya watachukulia vipi ikiwa yeye anaona kwamba na uh, unajua ni yote ambayo hatujajisikiza pale lakini kumbuka sehemu zake ukifuatilia mbona aweza kushabikia huyu na mari mbili ambaye anaona naona hapa angetueleza hapa awali jameni hatunge mali na je ilikuwa kwamba amaliza hela zake zote kwa ile kampeni alifanya ikiwa kwamba alikuwa na nia kumshabikia huyu mwenzake anaweza jiondoa mapema na labda hizo kura mbili tatu alizokota huku zingejaza zingejaza kama ile ilipigwa <laughs> Ezra Mugambe professor. <laughs> Nakubaliana ni kweli kwamba nafikiri huu ni ushabiki wa kuchelewa sana. Uh, kama kwa 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 hakika sera kama unavyosema Rashid kwamba sera na maono ya, ya, ya mmoja wa waniaji wakuu wawili ndio ambao ameona ni safi. Basi wakati huo huo mambo haya tungeona mapema na angejiunga na kampeni ya yule yule ambaye labda angempenda zaidi ili kura kama anavyosema babu hizo ambazo wamechukua zingekuwa zinaingia kwa yule mwingine na angempigia upatu na labda watu wange wengi zaidi kwa sababu kuna wengine ambao hawakujitokeza kwa sababu labda walikuwa wanaona kwamba hawezi kufikia alama fulani lakini angemshabikia ungesema ah tumshabikie uh, huyu ambaye huyu mwenzetu anashabikia banake ana nafasi nzuri ya kushinda kwa hiyo nafikiri ni kuchelewa na labda anahitaji uh, kujifunza kuhusu siasa zaidi ili aweze kujua mikakati ya wakati wa matamshi fulani manake matamshi kama hayo kwa mfano akitaka kungangania uh, kiti kama hiki wakati ujao atakumbushwa vizuri kwamba wewe bana ni mtu ambaye huaminiki mm. mtu ambaye ukifika mwisho pale uh, unaanza ku unageuka ukigeuka na kumshabikia <laughs> mwingine lakini kama anavyosema dr Likaka labda ni mbinu ya kujitafutia kazi <laughs> kwa sababu hawa ni wanasiasa kaka kuna wanatafuta namna yote pale kesho atujua kuna upenyo wanakwenda no, mbali na bwana Wahiga kuna bwana professor George Dakoe amesema kwamba ana imani kwamba watashinda na uchaguzi huu ni wa uhuru na haki ametoa press statement and uh, Adam Kadernani ambaye ni katibu mkuu wa chama kama siko sahihi hivyo ni katibu mkuu wa chama cha Naona kina Hezron kidogo chama hivyo mimi naona kwamba <laughs> ni ukomavu na ni vyema kwamba aende mpaka utepee ana matumaini na ana matumaini na hivyo ni ile kama amekomaa kama kiongozi waacha tuhesabu kiongozi ambaye atashinda basi atangazwe tumeona vile ame, na unaona kwamba ile ameitoa kwa sababu kujaribu kupinga dhana ya huyu mwenzake Uh, tumnukuu kidogo yeah. katika SNT test tuangalie <laughs> labda pengine stay some out lakini katika huyu katibu wa chama alimwandika ni kwamba we are confident that we will win through a fair free mm. and credible mm. process lakini line like, moja amesema kwamba our candidate will address the nation after the official announcement by IEBC keep peace love your neighbor Kenya is bigger than all of us That's an excellent analysis and an excellent presentation but of that candidate. But is it a possibility? I mean you've been looking at the figures. No, but look at it as a psychology is playing. It's quite in order that indeed you read remain hopeful and you encourage your supporters. He has a constituency to address and he needs to encourage them. The truth of the matter is after the results have been announced he's going to address his supporters and that's how you manage it. So for me I think that is a leader who should be emulated because he's ready to go to the far end even if he's saying this you know that is you see he is alluding a lot of confidence. But the truth is tunaona kwamba pengine atafika kule lakini ataweza kuwa kuasiliana na wafuasi wake na atawasaidia manage that anxiety. Gani? Confidence gani? <laughs> But you can li listen to the statement. <laughs> Tunaangalia idadi ya kura ambazo kidogo wanapata. Matokeo yanayotangazwa pale kwamba haiza kuwa barua ameandika nzuri lakini je kusema kwamba we are we are pene kuzungumza kwamba we are confident that we, are, we will win. This is basically to manage the optics of his supporters and to no, me, asking, I look at it in that strict sense uh -huh. it's an excellent communication to Dr. his supporters Likaka. although the reality will be different that we are seeing he's going to lose but look at how he's managing his supporters Dr Likaka yeah. if we are to be honest with each other and you've yeah. been listening to the IBC officials uh, announce these results why are you telling your supporters that we will win yet the figures suggest a different picture isn't it better to be Truthful. Perfect. Now, now let me just take you closely now to the two close contestants. Why are they encouraging their supporters, both of them? That should tell you that you need to manage your supporters because <laughs> if I was to take the same optics, have you had any of the coalition indicating that we are losing? 
none. Which is understandable because, yes. because so even for this case, he's just trying to manage the race his supporters. Is tight between the you two. can imagine today he came out and said, fine, they have considered the way the other guy has considered. He's just trying to manage the optics. You know, there's okay. a way you manage the public for purposes of remaining, looking like, yes, you are, you are there, but you are dying, we know. But you are there to the end. Prof, you take <laughs> communication. What, what is the place of such kind of communication? Yet you know that your supporters are Kenyans. They live in this country. They've been observing what's going on. You've seen the announcement. They haven't gone so far, even from the constituencies. They haven't gotten any more than 400 votes on average per constituency. Uh, I think all of us are losing fact to the most important component of that letter. Mm -hmm. It talks about a free, fair, and credible election. I mean, that is what he says. Mm -hmm. He says he will win in a free, fair, and credible election. Mm -hmm. That is the underlying point. Has he decided, has he said that these elections were free, fair, and credible? He hasn't said. Mm -hmm. But he says he will address Kenyans after the, announce the, the announcement is done. Up to that point, he will then say whether these elections were free, fair, and credible. According remember, to according to him, remember, even when he was voting, mm -hmm. uh, I remember very well, um, in Western, yeah, we he complained. Yeah. He complained the, the, the Kim's kids were not working, voters were sent away. He complained and he said, in fact, this is the, he, there were plans at that time. He said there were plans to rig him <laughs> out. If you remember, I remember very well what, what, was, what he was saying. <laughs> so he, the, the, the statement there is free, fair, and credible elections. So in, in my mind, I think what he uh, is looking at is saying that most likely these elections were not free, fair, and credible. That is one. Mm -hmm. But he says he will make that judgment after the announcement is done because the, the, the circumstances are going on. But more importantly, again, I think I also want to, 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 to carry on what uh, my brother has said. What that statement, I read it earlier when it was sent out. When you read that statement, statement clearly, he wants to maintain his support base. He's trying to reassure them that they are on this thing to the end. Mm -hmm. Number two, he is not going to do what his competitor has done. He is not going to concede, uh, concede and offer support mm -hmm. to one of his competitors because that's what uh, uh, Maure has done. So clearly he is, 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 is distancing himself from what uh, Waiga Maure has done and he says he's not going to do that until the end when he's going to make that determination. Of course, the numbers don't lie. Uh, we can see clearly, openly, what is happening. But he's just trying to manage the expectations of his uh, supporters. And not to Mori na sasa uh, statement ya ya, ya wajakoya wadhani hii ni ndio maana kufikia sasa hatujawahi kuona vurugu wa magasi ya zozote kutoka kwa wafuasi wa wanasiasa kakangu ni tofauti na kuna sababu kadha wa kadha kwanza ukumbuke kwamba wa Kenya wenyewe wamechoshwa na gasi ya ama vita baada ya miaka mm. mitano hilo wa Kenya hawataki mm. pili wahubiri na madhehebu na wale wa kanisa na waislamu wamefanya kazi kubwa sana kuhakikisha kwamba tuna amani. Tatu, viongozi wamejaribu sana kukubali e, matokeo bale inawasaidia wafuasi tena kukubali kwamba ndio hakuna haja ya vurugu. Nne, ukumbuke wa Kenya wako na haja kwamba warejee kwa maisha yao ya kila siku mm. haraka iwezekanavyo ili waendelee kukumba na shida ambazo wakonoza kama hali ya uchumi mm. ili maisha yarudi. Mm. Kwa, kwa hivyo kwa mkutada mzima wa Kenya hawana haja ama haoni vizuri kuingia kwenye machafuko na hivyo wale ambao wanajaribu kutuelekeza kutu viongozi vile wameendelea kuongea na sisi wengi wanaridhika kwamba tushikane na tunahitaji kwa na utaifa na umoja baada hizi kura na wadhani kwamba labda dr uh, professor mugambi kabla hujazungumza wadhani hali hii ya utulivu tunayoona sasa ya wafuasi kutuliza mori na bila kuwa na vurugu kwamba tuendelee na maisha yetu itaendelea kuwepo hata baada ya chebukati kutangaza matokeo ya mwisho ya uchaguzi uh, nafikiri kwamba kwanza tuseme kwamba kabla ya uchaguzi na wakati wa uchaguzi kuna makundi mengi ambayo yalijitokeza na kaulimbuyu yao ilikuwa ni amani 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 pili kile kitakachotokea baada ya kutangazwa kitategemea jinsi na kauli za wanasiasa
ikiwa wanasiasa watasisitiza zaidi kuhusiana na kwamba ndio kama ambavyo ulikuwa unasema nimeshindwa au tumeshindwa lakini tunaona kwamba kulikuwa na haki kama ambavyo wajakoya anasema kulikuwa na haki na kukwa na udanganyifu watu watatulia lakini ikiwa watakwenda kuingine na kusema kwamba hapa haki yangu imeibiwa kura zimeibiwa na kuna haki basi watu watapandwa na mori na wanaweza kuwa waanze wa, wa kuwapiga wenzao na kadhalika na mambo kama hayo lakini tunaomba kwamba sisi sote tutulie mpaka wakati matangazo haya yatakapofanywa tumekuepo uh, uh, na mambo haya kumekuepo na mwaka elfu mbili na saba na miaka mingine ya awali basi mm. hizi zimezuka lakini baada ya kuzuka unaona kwamba wale ambao wameathirika zaidi ni wakenya wenyewe mm. wengine wamekufa na niko na nafikiri watu wanaendelea kujifunza kwamba tusipigane kwa sababu ya kupiga kura wewe ukampigia yule na mpenda na mwingine akampigia baadaye hawa wawili wanakuwa marafiki mm. lakini sisi tunabaki tumechukiana bure tumeumia na, mm. na vipi kwa hawa na siasa ambao kwa sasa wameshaanza kujitokeza wakijipigia debe ama wakijipiga kifua kwamba sisi mrengo wetu ndio umeshinda kwa hiyo mtarajie tu kwamba eh, mamgombea wetu ndio atatangazwa rais hawa hudhani kwamba wanainua Uh, mori na, na hawa sasa babu ndio wenye kueneza chuki kwa sababu katika uh, uchaguzi au michezo yote lazima kuwe na mshindi mmoja mm. na tunasema kwamba asiyekubali kushindwa si mshindani mm. kwa hiyo wale ambao wanaanza kutesa wengine kwa chuki na kuwabeza maana yake nimeona bezo mm. sana mm. oh nyinyi ni bure nyinyi ya mwezi sisi ndio mm. hawa ndio ambao wanapandisha mori na uhasama mm. uh, kwa wale wengine ambao labda hata unayekuta kwamba yeye hana shida amepiga kura ikiwa yule ambaye amepiga amempigia ameshindwa anasema kwamba kuna wakati mwingine baada ya miaka mitano unita tapiga na ningependa kusema kwamba hata baadhi ya watu hawa ambao wamekubali swali utashangaa wanasiasa ni wanasiasa baada ya wiki moja utaona mahakamani mm. wamekubali mm. sasa kwamba wameshindwa lakini baada ya wiki moja wiki mbili mm. utaona mahakamani ikimuuliza kwa nini anasema baadaye nimekuchunguza mm. na nikakuta kwamba kulikuwa na udanganyifu mkubwa. Mm. Kwa hiyo hawa ndivyo walivyo wanasiasa na ndio maana sisi kama wa Kenya wapiga kura tukijua kwamba wanasiasa wana tabia za namna hiyo ni vizuri kwamba tukishafanya kazi yetu ya kidemokrasia ya kupiga kura tukaachia hapo. Mm. Yale mengine tukaachia IBC na shughuli zao. Na bila shaka ni mengi ambayo tunayafuatilia, ni mengi ambayo tunaweza kuyafuatilia. Kuna ule uhuru ambao tuko nao kujieleza, pia tutakuja tuangalie jinsi ambao tunapotumia katika mitandao ya kijamii. <laughs> Wajua kuna watu mataifa mengine wanasema wa Kenya wamekomaa, bwana wanasema wanachosema na tunasonga mbele. Mm-hmm. Na mtakuja tuzungumze lakini kumbuka pia katika siku ya leo uh, palikuwa na ya, uh, ibada ambayo aliweza kuhudhuria ku, uh, naibu wa rais ambaye ni mwaniaji pia vile vile wa kiti cha urais kwa tiketi ya UDA, aliabudu Jumapili alisemaje tutakuweza tukirudi na pia vile vile ambaye anawania kichores kwa tiketi ya azimio la umoja wa Kenya bwana Raila Molo Odinga pia yeye naye alifanya ibada maeneo ya Karen alisemaje hayo na mengine ni baada ya mdusio kwa mrefu